Welcome to 2159 Bay Street in the historic Marina District of San Francisco. This single family home is nearly 5,000 square feet and has so many surprises, I can't wait to take you inside and show you around. Surprise number one is when you walk in this house, you notice the light filled living room. It's really large. It's got beautiful windows. And what's great about Bay Street is this side of it has very wide sidewalks. So it really creates a lot of depth with the homes across the street. It also has a really large formal dining room. And then you go down the hallway and on the left, there's a really nice den playroom. And it leads into a really large kitchen family room out onto a deck that's facing south and a gorgeous south facing yard that has a hot tub, has a spiral staircase that leads from the deck down. It is absolutely the perfect floor plan for a large family. The kitchen is fantastic. It's got this large island. It's got double Dacor ovens. It has a hand hammered waterworks sink, a wolf range, Miele dishwasher, sub-zero refrigerator, and a lot of cabinetry. All the countertops are Calcutta Aura. Coming this way, we've got a fireplace and a huge, huge eating area. And it just doesn't stop. If you look at the ceilings, there are handcrafted beams everywhere. There's wide plank white oak flooring that they've stained this black and gray color. It's got window treatments that are gonna stay with the house. How many kitchens do you see that are very large, have a very large island? You can put a giant formal dining room table in and a fireplace, and then it has this seating area on your way out to this incredible deck that has an outdoor kitchen and a fire element. So right behind me on the bedroom level, this is the master suite. It's over 600 square feet. It's got an enormous walk-in closet. It could be a bedroom itself. And then you walk into the master bath. It's got a very large white hone marble shower for two with double rain heads. It's unlike any I've seen in San Francisco. In addition up here, you got four other bedrooms, two other baths, and a full laundry room. You're gonna love this. How many houses in San Francisco have five bedrooms on the top level? And there's a really large garage. You can definitely fit three cars in here if you don't stack too many things in. There's an entrance to the home here. And there's ample, really nice storage cabinets in the garage, which is really nice to have. You'll see there's plenty of shelves inside of here. And we've got these pull-out shelves here. And over here, there's a closet with a deadbolt. It's as large as this whole section here. That's where they store their bikes. So it's an outstanding garage. Also, a backyard, really private, incredibly well landscaped. If you look around, you'll see all these interesting plants, but then there's a great lawn area for kids to play on. Behind me is a unit that the family has been renting out through Airbnb, and they've been getting $8,000 a month. It's so beautiful. This backyard also has a really nice hot tub. And it's no surprise that they're getting $8,000 a month on Airbnb for this lower space. Same flooring, same finishes. You've got beautiful white cabinets, fantastic honed marble countertops, looking out over the beautiful garden. And if you just look at the way it's appointed, it's got a plasma TV, it's got a sound system, it's got a great amount of closet space, a really nice bathroom. This is an incredible place. Whether you use it for Airbnb or your in-laws or a nanny who would be very, very lucky to be down here. Also think about it. If you're gonna put your nanny down here, it's also an incredible playroom with an extra bedroom. So in total, 2159 Bay Street has six bedrooms. It has a really nice den. It has a huge kitchen, family room with a dining room table in it that goes out to a beautiful south facing deck. Spiral staircase down to a south facing garden with a hot tub. You can get at least three cars in that garage. There are tons of storage, ample shelves, racks in the garage as well, and a special closet that locks for bikes and things that you really want secured. It has an au pair suite that's being used as an Airbnb rental, bringing in $8,000 a month currently. The house is flawless. You must see it. The lighting, the countertops, the cabinetry, the bathrooms. 
Everything is so well done. There are two laundry rooms and there's a fantastic wine cellar. You gotta see this place. Come, it won't last. Thank you.